Hello, I am Dr. Fernando Rojas Vizcaya. I am the director of the Mediterranean Prostodontic Institute. In this presentation of immediate placement and immediate loading for fully maxillary rehabilitation, we will see a specific case with a specific situation and how we can make all the analysis from the prosthetic point of view. How we can start uh, by the determination of where is the incisal edge of the maxillary central incisor, where is the tip of the canine, where is the occlusal plane. And after that, we will determine how uh, we can check for the ideal cervical contour of the new crown. And using the new crown, how we can make the analysis and the design of the case. In this particular uh, case, you will see that we need to do some bone reduction if we want to obtain the new prosthesis. So I want to explain in detail, in step-by-step -step format, all the process. Also, we will see how we can make the photo smile design and create the new teeth in the mouth of the patient using all the digital clinical photography and how we can start for the first point the determination of the incisal edge of the maxillary central incisor and how we can create the natural size crown in relation with the existing bone of the patient how we can create the maxillary incisal curve and how we can make the analysis of the new crown that we designed for our patient in relation with the existing bone and we will see what happened with the bone is very close to the crown if we need to reduce bone or we need to add bone we will see also step by step all the process of the provisional restoration and how we create and transfer the static information from the model to the provisional and from the provisional to the patient the second is very important all the uh, aspect important aspect in this protocol also we will see important or key aspect that we need to take into consideration in the drilling process in the extraction socket areas in order to obtain an ideal aesthetic result. We will see all the uh, uh, surgical aspect and also all the prosthetic aspect that we need to follow during all the sequence. We will make the follow-up of this case after six years and we will review in detail how we can create the new case and the new aesthetic information in a master cast in the laboratory. How we can transfer all the aesthetic information from this master cast from the laboratory to the provisional restoration and how we can transfer from the provisional to the patient. So I hope you can enjoy this presentation and you can take a lot of information that you can apply in your office in your patient. Thank you very much.